my job um, and what I've been hired to do is to come in here and to reestablish a culture that this place has always had and always expected. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to that challenge, and I know that it will be a challenge. We have a lot of work ahead of us, um, but I wouldn't have signed up for this if I didn't feel like, number one, it's something that I could do, or number two, it was something that I'm excited to do. It's officially Hooten's house. Jason Hooten today takes over the Aggie men's basketball program after a tumultuous season off the court, which saw the program be shut down and two separate investigations into the team. And Hooten isn't the only one who thinks he's the right guy to lead the Aggies in this next chapter. My pleasure to introduce the 28th head coach for our New Mexico State Aggies, Coach Jason Hooten. Hooten first and foremost was hired because of his track record off the court. He's a guy who this year is a finalist for the Skip Prosser Man of the Year Award. If that wasn't enough to tell you what Hooten is all about, Athletic Director Mario Mocha told us coaches around the country sang his praises, including Chris Jans and Joe Golding. Then you look at what he's been able to achieve on the court with Sam Houston in 13 years as head coach, a 260-168 overall record, five 20-plus win seasons and only the one losing season and six postseason appearances, including the NIT this year after Sam Houston were the number one seeds in the WAC. When you couple his great character and reputation off the court with his accolades on the court, you realize NMSU isn't just Hooten's house. He's going to make it a home. I just think that they made a statement when they hired a guy like me. And I mean that from a, you know, guy that does things the right way. A guy that takes hard-nosed kids. Maybe we, over a little, maybe we overachieve a little bit at times. They just kept reassuring me that I'm the type of person right now that needs to lead this program. And I think that was, that was the icing on the cake for me and my family. For me, this was kind of my target all along. And thank goodness for social media that I could find out he was going to take the job. So. <laughs> Yeah, get this. It was actually a Snapchat from Hooten's daughter to Mocha's daughter on Friday morning that first alerted Mocha that Hooten was going to be the next coach of the Aggies. And let me tell you, he officially begins that role tomorrow and he told me he is ready to get to work. Something he's going to try and figure out pretty early on is who is going to make up his team. We know of 10 Aggies who were on last year's roster who have put their name in the portal. On top of that, you've got to wonder, once the investigations are complete, who will be allowed to come back? And then who does Hooten want to bring back? There's a very real possibility that very few Aggies from last season remain under Hooten. Now, another thing of note is today we got a copy of Hooten's contract. He'll be making $425,000 in his first year, then a $25,000 increase for the next two years, and then any extension year after that will be worth 475000 The assistant coach salary pool has also increased by $50,000 to $300,000. There are also a bunch of incentives in there. Interestingly, though, no bonus if NMSU beats UTEP. Chancellor Dan Avizu said the over $100,000 pay increase from Hyatt to Hooten is largely down to the move to CUSA and wanting to be more competitive with other Conference USA contracts.